Hello everybody you are watching series of success stories brought to you by Indian Achievers Forum I am Anshita and today's success story is about Mr Siddharth Agarwal he is the executive director of Inara by La Reliant Indian Achievers Forum is driven by a full-fledged advisory board The board consists of experienced personalities who have excelled in their respective careers. Together, the forum organizes conferences, events, workshops, exhibitions, trade shows, and B2B initiatives in India as well as abroad. Where there is passion, there is achievement, and where there is achievement, there is Indian Achievers Forum. Hi Anshu. It's good to Hello you. Mr. Agarwal, welcome to the show. Thank you. So Thank you. It's good to be here. To begin this session with, uh, could you please tell us a bit more about yourself and your professional roles as well? Yes, yeah, so uh, I have been brought up in a family business background. Uh, from the very uh, beginning I was pretty sure about where I was headed uh, and all my decisions were aligned uh, to fulfill that. so to get a technical expertise that can help me in the uh, in the family business i uh, started my engineering and i graduated last year and just after i completed my graduation i joined the business and then i i started uh, observing and learning as much as possible uh, initially and then after i gained a bit of an experience in the business i uh, started thinking of new ideas uh, of what uh, new changes can be done and Uh, what new can be implemented so then yeah. the uh, the foundation of inara came into being there was a gap that we identified in the market and inara is this uh, basically helped us fulfill that gap uh, there is yeah. no other i am very happy to say that there is no other brand big or small that uh, ca- can compete with us in this particular segment that we right. aim at So uh, also Siddharth how did you actually come to the idea of you know starting this like you mentioned yours is the first one that's doing something like this so you know how did you actually land to the idea of starting this so it all came into being when we did a bit of market study so we realized that in the aluminum windows and doors market there is a huge uh, gap in the customer awareness consumers are, uh, are very hardly aware about what they are purchasing it's usually mm-hmm. the fabricator that takes the decision for them so in that in that process the person who gets uh, harmed is the consumer they are the one at loss and uh, because the fabricators are the person who are making the the profit so uh, it's the information is not always open and transparent so what we aim to do is provide transparent information as to what we are providing and the standard guarantee of uh, the quality that uh, we have already been known for the parent company is known for a, 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 a standard quality that we provide a very high grade quality so that is what mm-hmm. we aim to provide even in the lower range of our products so uh, there is a peace of mind that a, a consumer can associate with our brand right so also how has the journey been for inara you know was it a smooth ride or were there challenges that you had to face and how did you actually overcome those challenges a little bit about that please Uh, well, with anything new that you uh, that comes, there always come challenges. No one is uh, always happy with change, so there'll always be some sort of resistance from the team, from the market, from the other people. Especially for the fabric, uh, the fabric industry, they'll obviously be. Uh, it will get disrupted a little because they have a habit of getting a profit share uh, by not disclosing the information. Not seeing all of them, but quite a bit of them. so in yeah. that area obviously there is some resistance so they are getting accustomed to this new product and even the consumer end so we are building a brand campaign around it making the consumers aware of the brand and the product so definitely we are trying to overcome that by uh, making uh, creating an awareness around it both to the dealers the markets and everyone involved in the process the entire supply chain is the awareness is the key to overcoming all the challenges that we are facing yeah right all right so uh, we've spoken about the past and the challenges that you had to face but what does the future of inara looks like you know could you tell us a bit about that 
uh considering that it's quite a new segment and everything it's very difficult to predict uh, exactly where we'll get it but i'm quite o- optimistic about uh the growth of anaro uh, con- uh, seeing that uh, we are, are headed towards in a new, completely new direction something that hasn't been explored yet so while it has its shares of challenges there's definitely a lot of positives too when you okay. uh, uh, some giving something new, uh, entirely new people are intrigued by the product they're interested and especially given the quality and the value for money proposition of the product a lot of people who uh, who have been made aware of the product are very much interested into it so right. future looks quite bright from where Superb. i'm sitting and i wish you all the luck with that for all your future endeavors because we've seen uh, your work we've seen the work of the company i think you all are doing a great job there so congratulations um we Thank would you. also have to know you know there's one question that we are very intrigued to know about and that's how was the feeling like when you got to know that y'all are winning indian achievers awards and you know it what was, was the reaction and the entire experience it was completely surreal completely surreal because uh, uh, this was a category that i was striving for promising startup because uh, uh, this startup is something I, it, it is a entirely new thing that i'm planning it was my first project and uh, having uh, get, getting a recognition for your first project is always always feels good so It it, it it is always it will always hold a special place because it's my first recognition that I'm getting for my project. Right, lovely. All right. right. So also when we talk about the social responsibilities, uh, could you tell us a bit about that? How is your company, you know, assisting to all the responsibilities, social contribution? A little bit about that. Yeah. So while uh, we are still initial stages, we uh, definitely uh, have a social contribution aspect in mind. and to ensure that we make sure that all the uh, most at least uh, more than 90% of the materials that are used in the product are re- completely recyclable so okay. on the social aspect we are very environmental friendly and even uh, the raw materials that we use for the processing of the materials we try to make sure that it is a recycled material so this uh, we are very very uh, focused towards reducing waste uh, environmental waste as much as possible Okay, wonderful. Also, you know, uh, the situation that we are in right now, the pandemic that we are going through right now, uh, there is a lot that has been said by our honorable prime minister about being atmanirbhar. So, you know, when right. we talk about a role of atmanirbhar bharat campaign in your organization progression path, could you tell us a bit about that? Definitely atmanirbhar uh, bharat is a, a great way of going about anything. especially given the kind of workforce and ability that we have in our country we need not look outside so yeah. uh, right now to strive the quality we are actively looking forward to maximizing everything and uh, most even till date from the very initial stages we have everything in house most of the things most of the processes that we do uh, for ins- uh, for the value addition of the product everything is done in house and we are striving to maximizing it as much as possible the little bit of it that we have to outsource we are striving to uh, also do that in house right so that Understood. is an actively active thought uh, in the management of the company right i think you've explained it very well you know because it's high time that we realize the talent that we have in our country and actually utilize it and honestly right. mr agarwal i think you're a huge inspiration for everyone who's watching especially the younger lot So also is there any piece of advice or any message that you would like to give to them uh, who wish to be an entrepreneur some day and you know who are looking for inspirations any message of or piece of advice for them uh, being a young entrepreneur myself so uh, the biggest advice that i can give is uh, always uh, look uh, look for something new you face challenges you'll face resistance but change is the only way forward right is the biggest advice i can give to anyone who's trying to do something new amazing and i honestly like i said you know you are an inspiration for a lot of people out there including me so congratulations and i wish you all the luck for all your future endeavors you are truly an achiever and may you honestly keep inspiring everyone with your new milestones every day thank you so much thank you so thank much you for being with yeah. us thank you again